Have you ever been hiking out in the woods and you didn't make it out in time before the sun came down you had to pull out your headlamp and hike out in the dark? Then you end up bumbling around in the woods like a baby panda bear. You just, you just can't find where you're going. You know, you have to like tilt your thing and you're looking down at your feet and well, it becomes a big pain in the butt. Well, there is a solution to that and there's a brand new product. So this product here, a uh, company sent to me after they saw, I believe my angel's landing video and they said, hey, do you want to check this thing out? It's a brand new product, we're just releasing it. So I definitely jumped on that chance because I love to see new stuff. So this comes from a company called Olight, which is already well known for making flashlights and they have a new brand called Olife. They've mixed their flashlights into the trekking pole to create something very unique if you're new here, my name's David. I'm an adventure filmmaker from Vancouver Island, and I make adventure hiking films as well as I review lots of gear that I use to make my films. So today we're gonna to be going over all the specs of this. This is going to be a first look review. If you're new to my channel, I do two types of reviews, first looks and comprehensive reviews after I've used gear for a long time. What we have here is the Beamwalk T3 trekking poles from Olife. They're made of a 7075 aluminum alloy with an EVA foam handle. Now, I guess I'll start there. The foam handle, as you can see, it's double length. It's actually more than double length, which is useful so when you're going downhill, uh, you can ex extend your trekking poles as to the kind of the maximum so you get more reach. And on the uphills, technically, you would want to shorten them so you're, because of the slope of, say, a really steep hill, you would have less distance to go. Well, if you have trekking poles with a longer handle like this, you can just hold it down here. You don't have to shorten them. These trekking poles have a usable length of 53.1 inches or that's 135 centimeters long and they collapse down to 25.6 inches or 65 centimeters. So let's go over the basic functions of this and then I'll show you what this looks like and how bright it is in the dark. So first off, there's a button on the end here and you would think that you can accidentally push it. You can't. I've tried grinding my bones in there of my, you know, my hands and stuff. There's no way you can push this button unless you stick your finger in there and really push it. So you've got, this is the low setting. This is the high setting. This is the red light. And then there's a blinking red light. But this is great for SOS. You can have both your poles blinking you know, hang them somewhere. You don't necessarily you need to hold on to them. You can always have, if someone's flying over or someone's hiking through trying to find you, this is a nice uh, thing to have. On the low setting here, this will last 13 hours and it is 30 lumens. Now, if we press and hold, we get the high setting. This is 120 lumens and this will last three hours. Now, if we go to the red, this is 10 lumens and this will last nine hours. And if we go to the blinking red, this will last, last uh, 30 hours and is also uh, 10 lumens. Now right away, something that's interesting about this is say you're doing a hike overnight and you had to hike a full eight hours and your poles would only last three hours on high, what you can do is hike with one on and the other one charging. And then you can just keep swapping them because you can take the, the batteries out, they're on the tops here. And I think one hiking pole is more than enough uh, light to hike at night. We'll be testing this. We're doing a first look at this. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to build uh, my my Dan Durston tent here with these trekking poles for some extra lighting in your tent. Yeah, like that. And I'll also be going on a bit of a night hike here just to test out how bright these are in the dark and how useful they are in the dark. So it's simply, you can see here, this one doesn't have it in here. This whole top piece just comes off and that's where the the battery goes in. So this is the battery here. It's just got three pins on it and then like a USB uh, type C. And all you're gonna do is take this front bit and put it into there and click it in, that's it. And then now you can push it. So what's really useful about this is these lights, they're pretty bright, 120 lumens, but they don't just go out everywhere. So when you're hiking, they're not blinding you in the eyes. They're actually directed to go down. If you look this way, it's like, it's kind of bright. <laughs> So it's, you know, they, they really thought about this in the design, which is cool. And another thing you might be thinking, well, what if I need to charge this thing and you take it off? There's a button in the back here. So you push this button here and you just kind of push up and this comes off. So now if you're hiking like this, no one wants to put their hand on that. There's some metal prongs here for the battery. Well, they, that's what these are for. They, they give you these things as well. Like that just like the battery, but it's, you know, there's no battery in there. It just allows you to use the trekking pole while you charge these. So I, the idea is you use this late at night, whether you're in your tent or you're hiking, and during the day you can just pop these out 
um, then you don't have the extra weight on the actual trekking pole and you can charge this in your bag. You just plug this into a battery bank and you're good to go. So as for accessories, it comes with a USB-C cable and then it comes with all the basic stuff you'd see with a trekking pole. It's got the rubber, uh, really thick rubber ends. This is more for like walking in, I don't know, walking in town or if you're on like little trails and stuff that are in town, more flat stuff. I never use that because I always go up big mountains. So it was like the, the sharp tip. So that's what I use, but it's also got these, the mud baskets, and it's also got the snow baskets. And the final thing, it comes with a bag. Um, I've never seen trekking poles come with a bag. This is probably the nicest bag. This is probably overkill, but uh, it's a nice bag. It's got like a shoulder strap and, and a cinch on it. I don't wanna say waterproof, but it looks definitely like it's gonna resist water. So, and speaking of which, these poles are made uh, waterproof level of IPX6. Now, because these trekking poles have electronics in them, they have a working temperature range of zero to 45 degrees Celsius. That's their recommended. I'm sure you can probably fudge it a bit, but it's not a trekking pole, I guess, necessarily you want to be bringing when it's uh, at minus 40. Now for extending the trekking poles, it's just one of these ones where you clip it and pull it out. And it's interesting because on one side, they've got inches and the other side, they've got centimeters. And then you just, um, you have one of these twist knobs for uh, tension and then you just pinch it and you're good to go. And same thing with the bottom, it's got two, two sections. So now as for weight, these trekking poles weigh 300 grams each. Now in comparison, this old one I've got here, which is falling apart and all broken, this weighs 302 grams, uh, but doesn't have any lighting. And I actually think it weighs a little bit more than that because it's missing the, uh, the tip on the end and some of the metal. So these don't weigh any more than a normal trekking pole, but they have the actual lighting built in. So it's kind of, they got some weight savings there and included all the electronics. So let's go take this out for a little night hike and let's go set up the Dan Derson X-Mid uh, trekking pole tent and see how it works with a, a built-in basically night light into your tent. All right, so I'm out here now. I've got a headlamp on right now and I'm gonna show you uh, how this looks once I turn these on. I'm gonna turn off the ha headlamp first. So now we're off. It's easy to find the buttons. I'm not worrying about that. Oh, there we go. Oh, this one's got red. So we're gonna hold that one and turn that to bright. <laughs> these are so bright, look at this. I mean, you can see the difference already from the headlamp. This is like so bright. <laughs> these poles are so bright. <laughs> so what's cool about these two is you can point them a direction and then they act like a flashlight because it's directed downwards. All right, so what you're seeing right now is my headlamp. This is the uh, Nightcore NU25 on the maximum setting on super bright. And now we'll turn on one of these poles on super bright on the high setting. Oh, I'm gonna turn on this one. Look at this, this is crazy. What we've got here is only the headlamp being used on the left and only the trekking poles on the right. So my headlamp definitely has more of a stronger beam forward in a cone, but this lights up the ground so well, especially the combination of all three is just unbelievable. You can totally see everything, it's amazing. What's interesting is this spot I'm at right here, I actually ran into a mother black bear and her cubs the last time I was here. <laughs> and I ran for it because it was, uh, yeah, there's two cubs. Now for this test, we have the headlamp plus the trekking poles on the left and only the trekking pole lights on the right. If you are hiking at night, uh, I would definitely use the high setting. It allows you to see everything and hike perfectly. Uh, the low setting would be more of an emergency if you really need to extend the light and the battery, um, like say for a full eight hours or something and you don't have a battery pack, that kind of thing. Um, but you can, I'll, I'll show you here with just the low setting. All right, so this is low. So 
So definitely still doable, but I would recommend, yeah, the high setting, you can like it just so much brighter. It's a difference of 30 lumens versus 120, so four times the brighter. So for night hiking, this is an absolute game changer. I've got a bunch of knucklehead friends who uh, <laughs> like to hike in the dark. And uh, Dean, you know I'm talking about you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is like fantastic. You can see so well with these, especially paired with the headlamp, but it's just, you could, <laughs> you could go do full hikes in the dark, no problem. So I'm, I'm gonna set this up now with my uh, trekking pole tent and we'll see kind of how that looks in a tent and functional like that. Okay, so I've almost got this tent set up here. Just thought the base up, but. You can see it's all, see it's all nicely lit in here. Cozy. So my conclusion, my first look of these uh, night beam trekking poles is they're great for night hiking. You get stuck out in the woods uh, late at night or you gotta hike back to your, or you're leaving early from your car um, 3 a.m. to start a hike, these are fantastic. They'll just, it just makes it so much safer. You're not gonna trist, uh, trip and uh, twist your ankle or anything like that, so. All right, so now let's do a tutorial of how to use this with the different modes. It has two modes, it has hiking mode and camping mode. Now the difference is in hiking mode, when you leave this on for 30 seconds without it moving, so say if you just had it in the ground or in a tent, um, it'll it'll revert back to like its energy saving mode after 30 seconds and it'll it'll blink and then it'll be off for two seconds blink it off for two seconds So if you tap it it turns it on tap it it turns it off This is always hiking mode tap on tap off now if you tap it on you're in your hiking mode you push and hold now It's gonna cycle bright red blinking low bright red Blinking so it just keeps cycling so if you want high there you go you got on high now if you turn it off with a tap now it remembered that, that's high, you tap it again, that's high. So it always remembers what your last thing is, which is convenient. Now if you hold it again, red, blinking, low. Now if we just leave it on low here, turn it off with a tap, it's remembered low, tap it again, we got low. So that's hiking mode. If you leave this for 30 seconds, it'll go into the blinking, slow blinking red mode. So now for camping mode, what we're gonna do is not a tap, but a tap and hold when it's off. So we're gonna push and hold, it'll come on, now what we can do is push and hold again. Now we're holding it, holding it, and you'll see it'll blink. And that means basically what it does, is it'll cycle up or down the light. So you can actually change the how bright you want this thing to be in your tent. So it's at the brightest right now. I'm gonna push and hold it again, and the, the light is gonna come down. It's gonna blink, which means it just hit the bottom, and that'll be the lowest. So it's highest right now, push and hold. And you can see it's going down, 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 blink. So now it's at the lowest. So this is the lowest. And with the lighting in here and stuff, obviously you're not gonna see it as well as if you're in a tent at night, you'll definitely see it. But so I'm gonna push it again and have it'll go up. So it's going up, 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 blink. So now this is the highest uh, um, brightness for the camping mode. Now, if I leave this in my tent like this, it's just gonna stay like this until I turn it off. It's not gonna go to that energy saving red, slow, uh, red blinking mode. Now the thing to know is I just turn it off. If I tap it, turn back on, we're back into hiking mode. So to have it in camping mode, you always have to push and hold to get it into camping mode. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe. If you want to check out these polls, there'll be a link down in the description. And until next one, have a great day.